giving all praise to you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai, about Shem And I'm going to entitle this video, this is going to be a short video, unless the spirit jumps on me to go make this a long video. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video, The Fool Have Said in His Heart or Mind, There Is No God. This is the video that was put up by Sam Miguel TV, a former ICGJC member that broke off years ago and uh, basically he's he's got an all out attack on uh, not just uh, the ICGJC but all Israelite groups. Anyway, the name of this video uh, as you see on the screen, is uh, Atheist Republic interview San Miguel TV. It's a little bit more than five minutes long, and they're um, questioning him about the so-called black, as they call it. You know, Esau has zero respect for us. You know, none of us call well a few a few a few idiot camps call himself black Hebrew Israelites. Anyway, uh, why would these atheists be so concerned about a group of people that believe in God when they're atheists? I mean, if I if I was an atheist and I saw somebody praying, I wouldn't I would I would ignore him. I would just walk down the street. I wouldn't question him as to why he believes in a God. It's almost like these atheists, they come together in a group and they have an invisible, an invisible, excuse me, invisible God. Like they come together like a religion. And they're to, their, their job is to spread the gospel of there is no God. So now, you know, I fully understand why uh, the Lord said, what he said, I believe that's Psalm 14 and 1. Um, the fool have said in his mind, there is no God. This is complete foolishness. I'm not going to say, you, if you notice, we don't, we don't say anything about atheists. We don't try to wake up atheists. Why? Because they're fools. They're fo this is foolishness. This is true, real foolishness. For you that don't believe in a God, and this guy, Bill Maher, that clown, he, he, he doesn't believe in the Most High, and he told a story that when he was young, first of all, his, his father was Irish, and his mother was a so-called Jew, and his father and himself, and his, I guess he had a brother and sister or whatever, they went to church and, and the mother would stay home, but they never explained that the mother doesn't go to church because uh, she's Jewish. So they never told him that, so he's all fucked up in the head over that shit. So he he has a hatred for anybody that believes in the uh, in a power, in a God. Anyway, you know what I'm going to do? Let me go to that actual scripture Psalm 14 Psalm 14 and 1 there's a psalm of David it said the fool have said in his heart there is no God they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. So I want to look up the word fool. Nabal. That was a that was an individual that uh, Abigail was was not Nebel's wife and he was a damn fool because he didn't help King David and his men and the Mosai wound up killing that dude and then uh, 
David got his wife. You dumb motherfucker. It means foolish. Nabal means foolish, senseless fool. It also says stupid, wicked, uh, especially impious, fool, foolish, vile person, vile person. And that's also in uh, uh, Psalms, I mean uh, Job 2 verse 10. The fool says in his heart there is no God that the Arabs use with the same extent of uh, signification the word. I'll give you a couple of precepts. Deuteronomy 32 verse 6. Do ye thus requite the Lord a foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father that hath brought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? So the Most High is saying that the, that the Most High made you, fool. Let me jump down to uh, Deuteronomy 20, 32, verse 21. It says, uh, They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. And this is referring to Israelites and all you Jakes out there that are going to church that are serving a a so-called white Jesus, or if you're in the Islam, the Moors, Kemet, the Most High is going to kill every last. He, first of all, he's going to make you take that chip, and then he's going to destroy you. It says, uh, goes on to read Deuteronomy 32 verse 21. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. Job 30 verse 8. They were children of fools. All you Edomites... When you read from the f first verse of uh, Job, the 30th chapter, it's referring to you Edomites, how you went up into the caves. So in the 8th verse, it said, They were children of fools, yet yeah, children, children of base men, they were viler than the earth. Talking about these um, Edomites. And it's very, very rare you run into a Jake that doesn't believe in the Most High. And if you ever see see a Jake that doesn't believe in him, he's an atheist. He he's he, he funny looking, or she's funny looking, and they really love Esau. They really they really dream that believe that one day they can go to sleep and wake up and become white. Anyway, um, that's all I'm going to say. Leave your comments in the uh, description section. And in closing, I'm going to say this. Why would atheists be concerned about Hebrew Israelites? It's stupid. Foolish. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.